what's up today my fellow man soldiers so what i'm gonna be doing in this video is letting you guys know which is the best free epic strategy card you should choose i know it's gonna be very very tricky and the reason why i say that is because all the strategy cards are pretty decent um and it's going to be based on how your team is but not only am i going to look at that i'm going to look at the fact like long the longevity of it like even later on if you were to change your team would these stat strategy cards still be decent so keep in mind for what i know i don't see no other epic strategy cards in the game besides these um besides this pack that you get for leveling up that's the only epic strategy cards that i see i don't see no other cards even when the auction house was available, I didn't see them. I'm not saying that you can't pull them, because apparently they are in game. Um, apparently, maybe you can't. I haven't pulled one. I haven't seen it. So, regardless of the fact, this is going to be the best way to get them. So, you want to make sure you pick the best pick, and you only get one. So, I'm really going to take this serious because I got to pick mine too. And just to prove it to you guys, whatever card that I pick. Whatever card uh, that I tell you guys to pick, that I feel is going to be the best one, I'm going to pick. I'm actually going to pick it in the video right now. Just so you guys don't be like, okay, well, uh, I'm not saying that I have to, but I'm going to, though, to prove a point. Because I'm going to take it that serious, right? But before we get into the cards and I'm going to show you guys them and pick them, I want to show you guys, because I know some of you guys will be like, well, what happened to the strategy cards? Even though I put, I literally put a video on it and you guys still asking me that question. It's fine. I'll answer a few of those questions right here because this is a video about uh, the best strategy card of the Epic one. And because it has, it's about strategy cards in general, I might as well let you guys know a little, a little bit of information of the other strategy cards. All right. So number one, keep in mind, when it comes to the strategy cards, you are not going to see them in the auction house no more. And the reason why I'm going to be straight up with you guys, I don't care what anyone says. The reason why you're not going to see them in the auction house no more is because people were making decent profit off them, which is not their fault because you, you, you should be able to make you sh you're playing Madden. You're able to make profit off of whatever you get. OK, you buy it, you sell it, however you want to do, you make profit. They were making such good profit that EA did not like it and they ba basically banned it. Without saying they banned it, they banned it because you cannot put it in the auction house. You can still pull them. Um, some of them even say auctionable on the card. I haven't even posted one, uh, posted one yet to see if it even lets me post it. But I'm gonna, I'll look in the auction. As a matter of fact, we could check that out right now in doing this video. I actually got a strategy card that I pulled. Uh, but just to show you guys the point that I'm gonna about to make, um, it's, oh, you know what? Um, I should be able to get a strategy card right here, right? Yeah, here we go here. I got 14 of them. All right. Oh, so I got a few of them. All right. So just to prove a point, right? So we're going to see right here. Auction. So it still says auction. They sell for 2K. It says right here. Look at, look how long ago it's been. 18 days. Seven. So it's been that long. We'll say 17 days uh, um, at least because that's that's the, that's the earliest um, since anyone posted this. And the reason why is because you can't post them to the auction house. Um, so let's check it out right now. Oh, it didn't even let me sell it. It says duration, bro. I didn't even I didn't even trip out on that when I clicked on it before. So go to auction. Look at it. Doesn't even let you post a price. So if I post it, what am I posting it for? I'll post this. I don't care. Are you sure you want to post this item? A starting bid of negative one and a buyout of negative one. You know what? I'm not. So you guys see that? Look at. Are you sure you want to post this item with the starting bid of negative one and a buyout of negative one? So basically, you don't, you don't, you, not only are you not paying a coin for, you're paying a negative coin, meaning that you can't even buy it because what the heck is a negative one? That's base. that's basically, you don't have nothing. You're in the negative. So how, how would they even register that? Maybe you do, you could use a coin to buy it. I have no idea. But I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I, I was gonna post it, but I'm scared to post it because I feel that if I do post it, someone do actually seize it up and actually buys it, I'll probably get banned. That's how scared I am because EA is so money hungry. Um, yeah, they got me fed up. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like I, that, that, this strategy stuff, which I'm gonna get too much into, they angered me. They angered me over it because they did a bunch of bull stuff all throughout the season and last season the season before because i've been playing madden for se past like seven years um for the last few seasons they, they they've been pulling this uh stuff and like i had it up to, I, like i really had it in the i guess i'm still playing madden but the only reason why i'm still playing is because i find other ways to play without having them give up my money 
and really having to invest a lot of my I don't invest a lot of time into it no more like I used to um, and you you guys don't have to either um, I do certain things to level up fast I do other little things here so I won't say that I won't play because I like playing football I'll play it quite a bit um, but anyways I don't want to get into all that right or like too much of that right now but let's go to strategy to show you guys so yeah you, there it is there you're not gonna see strategy cards um, the only two ways for you guys to or, to get them will be someone someone put me up on game and said go to core items um they did put me up on game but i don't see core items though where is the core I oh program i think the program right core items yeah here we go core set thank you very much for though for that person that told me i forgot your name but appreciate it because i was going through uh crazy I, I was going crazy trying to find it but anyways here we go here so once you get you're gonna get up through your daily so when you complete your daily objectives you're gonna get a strategy item as coin quick sell so every single day you get a strategy item you could get a rare which you guys see what there i pulled rares or you could get an uncommon or a common one and then what i do is i put the comments into these sets and pull up um to get an uncommon and once that's done i put two uncommons into this rare one to get a rare one that's how i've been getting my strategy cards that's one way to do it the other one is through the store real quick i'm just going through this real quick because i know people are going to ask me so let me go ahead and just show you guys real quick you go to select offers that's where we find out the last time all the way towards the end and you see strategy item and just in case you're wondering i had two comments so i'm not exaggerating there was two comments that people made who actually said that they bought this pack and actually made a profit i don't quote me on it that's up to you guys if you want to do it i'm not going to still do it but they said they made a profit so it's up to you if you guys want to chance it and if you guys happen to do do it let me know if you guys did make a profit but two different people commented on my last video of strategy cards that they made a profit on them but that's the only way you're going to be able to get strategy cards hopefully you pull something great um but ea is money hungry and uh they're sorry straight up like straight up there's no other way to uh go around it like that's just straight up all right so we're gonna get the contain okay let me just go through all of them real quick so we got sprinter i mean contain sprinter edge rusher on the run hybrid and then fearless all right so we got one two three four five six so i don't have to click on it i don't have to do all that because i could it's, it's self-explanatory in the front so let's go ahead and look over it plus two pursuit plus two play rec um that to me is going to be defense right i don't see no reason for you these 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 stats could apply to offense but this is going to be defense because this is where it's most important at sprinter um sprinter could apply to defense or offense all right that's what i'm looking at right here plus one acceleration plus one change of direction plus release plus break sack i don't know if it's going to go on offense or defense but it could it could for what i see it could apply to either or because it is sprinter um change of direction plus one release plus one break sack so if i were to have to take a wild guess if i had to pick between one, it looks like this is going more toward offense it might be one you could put in anyone but it looks more offense than anything then you got edge rusher which is about self-explanatory so that is defense plus two block shedding plus one power move plus one finesse move which i do like then we got on the run for this is going to be just for your qb plus two throw on the run plus two, two throw under pressure the only reason I don't like this because I'm more about if you get throw power and some throw accuracy, that's what I'm after. So if it had like plus three throw power and one plus throw accuracy, I would go. I would rather go with four four throw power because to me throw power is more OP because I see a difference when the throw power is very low. So if it would have had plus two throw power with plus two deep accuracy, then this would have been the one I went to, but it don't. So that to me is already a no. Then you got this hybrid one, which is a plus two man coverage plus two zone coverage and plus one tackle all right which i actually like and i'm gonna get back to that in a minute then we got fearless plus three throw under pressure plus uh one pass block i really don't care for this one i don't see no point of it it might be op it might not but just from the stats alone i don't see how it's gonna make a big difference on your squad so i'm gonna be honest out of all these cards to me the best one where is it at is gonna be Oh man, I backed out. Let me click back on it. Sorry about that. All right, the best one is gonna be. Let me go right, right over here. It's right here. The best one is gonna be this hybrid one. And I know some of you guys are gonna be like, "Well, it's hybrid, so you you don't have to put it in the offense or defense. You can put it in the hybrid section." I was told, I seen it. 
I, I I was told that you could only put it in defense, that it doesn't even go into the hybrid. But either way, we're gonna find out in this video because I told you guys I'm gonna pick my card. I'm gonna go with this plus two man, plus one zone, and plus one tackle off the top. So this is what I'm going with. To me, that's the best pick. Let me know what you guys go with, but that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna go to the lineup and we're gonna see where it fits at in the lineup so we could clarify it for you guys, all right? So there ain't gonna be no he says, she said. We're gonna get first-hand information right now. We're gonna go ahead and make it happen. So here's the hybrid. So let's see if, bro, if this goes into the hybrid, I'm gonna freaking scream. No, I can't scream. Cause I don't think I don't think I ever screamed in my life, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, but I'm gonna be excited. Absolutely not. There's no way they're gonna give us that much joy. And that to me, you see how EA gets away with naming a, a certain card something and they don't even go into that slot and by the time that it does work the game's going to be practically over with and it's not going to matter anyway that's how they do it if it would have been something to where people were making tons of coins um just logging into ultimate team it would have been fixed but that's not the case but let's go ahead and click on it again there's no comparable items it says you see what there i am on the hybrid there is no comparable items so they were right you have to go to the defensive strategy so we're gonna see what it does to my defense here's my defense right here all right so this is how my defense is looking guys take a look good my corners are 93 and that's about it i don't know what happened i think they were up a little bit more before um now i'm gonna put the strategy card in there see if it does anything better all right so here it is right here we have to put it on defense because it's not gonna allow me to put it on the hybrid i'm hoping that they fix it because if they fix it oh man it's gonna be lit but anyways go right here here's my defense now so my defense did go up better. So Darren Whitting did go up, uh, Michael Parsons, Mike Evans, Deion Sanders, Darren Bland are still the same. Um, Tariq Woolen went up. So it's cool. I I'm okay with that because it's pretty well rounded. There is man, there is zone, um, and there is what? Um, sack or something like that? Whatever it is. There's, there's, there's different stats. To me, it's well rounded. So I'm okay with that. The only thing I'm not okay with is the fact that it don't go into the hybrid section. If it went to the hybrid section, oh man, the, the cards would have been even more insane. But anyways, that's my pick. Let me know what your guys' pick is. Um, put it in the comment section. Till next time, I'm out.